There's, there it is, the new bracket. And I'm one-handing this at the moment, so bear with me. Anyway, it looks like this is where we're going to mount it. Okay, so uh, let me get the hardware and start mounting the new AC compressor bracket. bracket. And after I got it up there, I'll show you what I did. Ow. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Can I get a good view of this? Maybe uh, the mounting bracket. Uh, let me do it this way. Um, well, this is what happens when you have a tiny screen. Uh, anyway, the mounting bracket is in there. And uh, I had to use uh, some lock washers on there they, because that's what they said to use. But uh, they didn't provide any. Alright, here we go. The compressor is mounted up there right now. And uh, this bracket here has capability to slide towards the back of the car or to slide towards the front of the car. Here is, let me show you, the front. And there's a fan. Okay, so you know your orientation here. So I think for 77 and 78 Z's, uh, you want to slide it as far forward as you can so that your belt here will line up correctly. All right, so slide it as far forward. If you have a car 76 or earlier, you need to slide the bracket towards the back of the car so that it will line up on the pulley here. Okay? So, did that. Got the bolts all tightened up in there. They said to uh, wait to mount this, but you have to mount it and test it. Then unmount the, from the uh, bracket, the compressor. Um, you, ha you know, so the instructions weren't the best on that but oh well um, the other thing is the orientation here and I'll show you that from above here uh, what it should look like and here's from the top view here and the diagram does actually show to have these kind of angled towards the uh, driver's side fender Hopefully you can see that, and you can see once again. I'm trying to uh, make the uh, the high pressure side from the compressor to the condenser here. I'm trying to add a bend in the hose. You don't want to make it straight. If you make it straight, and you have to adjust your compressor, you may not be able to go far enough. So we're uh, I'm adding a 45 degree angle here, going that way. And I've got the uh, the uh, port here, the discharge port on the compressor, angled a little bit that way. And I already uh, marked here with a pen. Let me show you. And I'm going to cut right here and put these boys together here in right you know a minute here. We're gonna first we're gonna cut. Alright, this will be the finish of uh, adjusting the hose here for the correct position. Uh, as you've already seen, this end was already crimped and then assembled just so I could get the right length. I cut the right length, I put it in here, I joined the pieces. Now. It appears I've got the right angle for everything here, like so. Somebody said 80 foot-pounds. Don't worry about the foot-pounds, just go until it doesn't go anymore. Which is right about there, I guess. Yeah, it looks bottomed out to me, so let me loosen. And we'll look to see how it looks.
So I gotta do this all the way. Pull out your pin. It now flips open. These teeth do that every time I do this. Uh, it looks good. Uh, hopefully it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure we achieved the right bends. I'm going to compare it to the other crimp. And uh, pretty much it looks identical uh, as far as the quality of the crimp. So we're done. Uh, that's the only hose I will show you how to crimp. Okay, there is the end result for this. Um, it's ready to go in the car. Everything has been crimped, so if I did it wrong, oh well, but uh, I think I did it right. I think I know I, I know I did it better than what they gave me, so anyway, we'll uh, finalize the installation. Uh, everything's been measured and cut and crimped. Okay, final update on the AC system. There you can see the high side. And down here, I don't know. Ooh, the lighting is not good enough. The low side's right there. But what I had to do in order to keep the suction side away from, you know, components like the header, the brake lines, and uh, the steering rod there. I had to uh, modify my heat shield here that uh, blocks the heat here from the header and the engine. And uh, you can see this is where I had to modify right here. I had to cut out part of it, the heat shield. And uh, there's your hose running through there. Uh, didn't mean for it to turn out that way, but that's sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But it appears like we've got cold air. The new system is working. Um, there really wasn't any place else I could run this uh, line. It had to go here. But there's just not enough room. It doesn't bend enough to get around this heat shield. So therefore, the cutout here, so it would fit. It's, you know, I still got protection here for the uh, brakes. And mostly I've got protection here for the actual line itself here. The other brake lines as well as the uh, refrigerant line. So... I think we're okay.